What's up guys, Jason here. In this video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a simple and efficient Minecraft Bedrock Iron Farm. This farm works on 1.20 and on all platforms of Minecraft Bedrock with you plenty of phone, tablet, Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, or PC. As you guys can see here, this farm allows you to quickly and easily get a lot of iron. The materials list for this farm is in the description. The first step is to choose an area to make this farm at. You need to make this farm in an area that is at least 100 blocks away from any villagers, beds, or workstations. After you have chosen an area to make your farm at, place down 4 solid blocks. You can use any type of solid block you want except for solid blocks that burn. A couple examples of solid blocks that don't burn are smooth stone or cobblestone. 1, 2, 3, 4. The next step is to place 20 solid blocks over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. After you're done placing those 20 solid blocks, turn to this side. Then place 20 solid blocks over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Once you have placed those 20 solid blocks, fill in the outline with solid blocks. This will be the floor of the farm. After you're done with that step, you should have a platform that is 21 blocks wide and 21 blocks long. Now place 3 blocks in one corner. Then extend that 3 block high wall around the platform. After you're done with that step, the farm should look like that. The next step is to place leaves on the wall. These leaves will prevent iron golems from spawning on the wall. Once you are done with that step, the farm should look like that. The next step is to go to one corner. Now place 5 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then place 4 blocks over here. Then place 3 blocks over here, and 2 over here. Now place a block at this spot. Once you are done with that step, place blocks like that in all the other corners. Place 5 blocks over here. 4 over here. 3 over here. 2 over here. And 1 at this spot. After you're done with that step, the farm should look like that. The next step is to create an infinite water source somewhere near the farm. To do that, go to inside of the farm, then place blocks like this. Then place water over here and water over here. By creating that infinite water source, you will be able to use two buckets to fill in all the water for the entire farm. Now place water at each of these spots. After you are done placing that water, the farm should look like that. The next step is to fill in and break the infinite water source. Then go to the center of the farm. Then break these 9 blocks. Then go down here. Then place your layer of blocks like this. Once you have done that, extend these walls down to the floor. After you are done with that step, the farm should look like that. Now place 9 blocks like this. Then place a sign at each of these spots. Make sure you crouch whenever you place a sign in front of a sign. After you're done with that step, break this block. Then break these 6 blocks as well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now place 2 chests over here. After you've created that double chest, go over here. Then crouch down and place a hopper at this spot. Make sure the nozzle of that hopper is facing that chest. That hopper will collect the iron and funnel it into that collection's chest. Now place 4 solid blocks over here. Then break these 5 blocks. 
Then place three glass blocks over here. And three over here as well. The next step is to place water in the corner that is opposite of that hopper. As you guys can see there, the water should flow towards that hopper. It will push iron over there. The next step is to crouch down and place lava at this spot. The lava will kill all the iron golems. By the way, the lava will be separated from the water because of the signs. The next step is to cover the ground below the farm with leaves. These leaves will prevent iron golems from spawning in this area. After you are done covering the ground below the farm with leaves, the farm should look something like that. By the way, it's fine if the ground is not flat. Just make sure it's covered with leaves. The next step is to go over here. Now place three blocks over here, two over here, and three at this spot. Then place a block at each of these spots. Then replace this leaf block with a solid block. Now place an iron door over here. Then place a button over here. Then go inside this area. Then place a button over here and a torch at this spot. By enclosing this area, you will be protected from mobs when you are standing by the collection system. The next step is to go to this corner. Now place a block at this spot. Then place three blocks over here. One, two, three. Now break this block. Then place 21 blocks over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. After you have placed those 21 blocks, place 21 blocks over here and 21 blocks over here as well. The next step is to place 22 blocks over here. Then extend this wall up by 2 blocks. After you have done that, place 3 blocks over here, and 3 over here as well. Then go to this side. Now place 3 over here, and 3 over here as well. The next step is to place 20 glass blocks over here. After you have done that, place a solid block on each glass block. Then go to this spot. Now crouch down and place two trapdoors over here. Then open them. Then crouch down and place two trapdoors over here. Now open them. Then repeat placing trapdoors in that pattern until you get to that side. These trapdoors will separate the villagers. After you are done with that step, the farm should look like that. The next step is to bring a villager over to each of these slots. In total, there should be 20 villagers in this farm. You can bring any villager to this farm except for a green coat or baby villager. That is because those villagers cannot link to workstations. If you want to use a baby villager in this farm, you will first need to wait until it grows into an adult villager. Once it has grown into an adult, it will be able to link to a workstation. Also, don't use any villager that you have already traded with before. As you guys can see here, I have already traded with this villager. I am now going to show you how you can easily transport villagers in survival mode. To do that, first place 3 blocks over here, then place 2 over here, and 3 over here. Now place 2 blocks over here. Now place blocks like this until you get to the ground. After you're done placing those blocks, place 3 powered rails over here. Now place a lever at the spot. Now flick it down. That should cause those powered rails to get activated. Now place 5 rails over here. Then place a powered rail at this spot. Now place a lever over here and flick it down. Then place the rails from here to that spot. After you have done that, place two rails over here. Now extend this rail system all the way over to the nearest villager. If you don't want to do that, another option is to transport a villager using a boat and a lead. To do that, first place a boat next to a villager. Once the villager gets in the boat, attach a lead to the boat. Now slowly walk over to the farm. By the way, don't walk too fast otherwise the lead will break. If it breaks, you can reattach it. If you ever need to pull a villager up a ledge, you can place some water. 
Then pull the boat up the water. Once you have brought the villager to the rail system, place a minecart over here. Then break the boat. Now push the villager into the minecart. After it is in the minecart, push it into the farm. After the villager is over there, break this rail and these two blocks. Then break the minecart. As you guys can see there, it should fall into that chamber. Now replace this block. Then break these blocks. Now place a block above that villager. To bring a villager over to this next slot, expand the rail system. After you have a villager in each slot, you should have 20 villagers total. Now break the rail system. The next step is to cover this roof with leaves. Those leaves will prevent iron golems from spawning on that area. The next step is to place a torch over here. Now count 5 blocks to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then place a torch over here. Then keep placing torches in that pattern until you get to that side. Those torches will prevent mobs from spawning in this area. The next step is to place 3 blocks over here. Now place 4 blocks over here. And 4 over here as well. Then place 4 blocks over here. After you have done that, break these 2 blocks. Now fill in this outline with solid blocks. Once you have created that platform, go over here. Then place a bed at this spot. Once you place the bed, wait for it to show green particles. As you guys can see there, it should show green particles. That means that a villager has links to it. It's important that you place the beds in the same order that I do in this video. Then turn to this side. Then place a bed over here. Once it shows green particles, place another bed over here. Then place 7 beds over here. Make sure each bed shows green particles before placing the next bed. By the way, if the bed does not show green particles, try breaking it, then replacing it. If the bed still does not show green particles, try breaking all beds at the village or villager breeder you got the villagers from. Once you have placed those beds, place a bed over here. Then turn to this side. Now place 9 beds over here. It's important that each bed that you place show green particles. That means that each of the villagers in this farm have linked to a bed. In total, there should be 20 beds. Once you are done with that step, break this platform. After you are done with that step, the farm should look like that. The next step is to link each villager in the farm to a flushing table in front of it. I am now going to show you how you can easily do that. To do that, first place 7 blocks over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then stand on this block. Now place the fetching table over here, then quickly look for the villager that shows green particles. Then break the fetching table. The same villager should show angry particles. Now go over to that villager. Then place a fetching table in front of it. As you guys can see there, the villager should show green particles and become a Fletcher. That means that that villager has been linked to that workstation. Now repeat that process until all 20 villagers have been linked to a Fletching table in front of it. By the way, if you don't see what villagers showed green particles, you can break the workstation then replace it. After you have found the villager that shows green particles, break the workstation. The same villager that showed green particles earlier should show angry particles. 
Now go over to that villager. Then place a fetching table in front of it. You will know you place the fetching table in front of the correct villager because the villager should show green particles and become a fletcher. By doing this, you will link each villager to the fletching table in front of it. That is necessary for this farm to work. Once you are done linking each villager to a fletching table in front of it, break these 7 blocks. By the way, if you cannot get each villager to link to the fletching table in front of it, try breaking all workstations at the village or villager breeder you got the villagers from. The next step is to crouch down and place leaves on all the beds. That will prevent iron golems from spawning on the beds. I am now going to do a quick fly around so that you can check and make sure you've made this farm correctly. Over there, there should be 20 villagers. In the middle, there should be the 20 beds. Over here, there should be the water system that flows to the kill chamber. Finally, down here, there should be the collection system. Make sure the water flows towards that hopper. How this farm works is, by having 20 villagers each linked to a bed and a workstation in front of it, this area gets designated as a village. That causes iron golems to spawn in the water. Whenever an iron golem spawns, it will get pushed by the water into the kill chamber. It will then get automatically killed by the lava. All the loot will then get collected by the hopper and funneled into that collection's chest. I am now going to show you how to use this farm. To use it, first go down here. Then just wait, iron golems will spawn in the water, then get pushed into the kill chamber. All their loot will then get collected by that hopper and funneled into this collection's chest. Whenever you want to collect the loot, all you need to do is open this chest. If this farm does not work for you, try breaking and replacing all the beds and fletching tables. Make sure you place the beds in the same order that I did in this video. Also, make sure you link the villagers to fletching tables correctly. Each villager should be linked to the fletching table in front of it. If you want to be able to easily get a lot of villagers for the iron farm, I recommend you check out my best simple 1.20 villager breeder tutorial. A link to that tutorial is in the description. If you choose to make this villager breeder, make sure you make it at least 100 blocks away from the iron farm. Also, I recommend you break all the beds at the villager breeder after you are done transporting villagers to the iron farm. I hope you all enjoyed learning how to make this simple and efficient Minecraft Bayrock Iron Farm. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out more Minecraft videos. Thanks for watching.